to be here today. And uh, I came from a musical family and have studied Vietnamese traditional instruments since I was four years old. Performing Vietnamese traditional, traditional music to audiences around the world has given me the opportunity to share our richness of the culture legacy. Working with musicians from different music genres has encouraged me to experiment and breathe new air into the tradition of the Viet folk music and to bring my music to wider uh, audience. Like music from other regions of the world, Viet folk music reflects its culture and tradition uh, of its people. This unique traditional style from different regions uh, of Vietnam shares the same diatonic scales but differ in how each note play. Uh, from the north, one gets a mellow reflection. From central of Vietnam, music has more lightness. From the south of Vietnam, you will hear more the heartbreaking yearning. In my music, I combine other art forms from our cultural heritage. Having evolved for more than 1,000 years, the Viet culture gave birth to a rich legacy in art and literature. One important legacy was the contribution of women throughout the history. And uh, my next piece is based on the poetry of Ho Sun Hương, an 18th century poet who was a concubine and wrote against the hardship faced by women in society. Her poetry is well loved among Vietnamese people for its witty double meaning uh, that are sexually daring and non-conformist, even by today's standards. Francis Martin and Jimmy Nakagawa are here with me today to present the composition. Uh. 
Thank you. <coughs> the unfortunate reality is that the Vietnamese traditional music, how beautiful and timeless it is, does not make it into the iPhone and iPod playlist of Vietnamese younger generation. As a musician, I attempt to bring our culture closer to new audience as a way to help keep the Viet culture and traditional music alive. Throughout my own musical style, I hope to carry the soul and the color of Viet traditional music together with the heartbeat of the world we live in.
I composed the next piece, recently inspired by the mythical origin of Viet people that every Vietnamese knows by heart. According to the legend, an immortal fairy named Ochre, in love and married a dragon king named Lạc Long Quân. Ochre gave birth to 100 eggs that hatched into 100 children. To populate the land, the king took 50 children down to the sea, and the immortal fairy took 50 children to settle in the mountains. From these 100 children came the ancestor of Viet people. With this composition, I hope again to share with you the richness of the Viet culture legacy.
Thank you. Francis Martin and Jimmy Nakawawa.